Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll write a Python program to take list as the user input. While writing the program in many situations we'll take list as the input. We can take list as the input in two ways. One is we can directly take a list like this as input or you can take the user input. So today we'll discuss about this how to take list as the user input. So to do this, to take list as the user input, the first step is we need to ask the user to mention how many elements he want in the list. And the second step is after asking how many elements he want in the list. For example, if we enter n element, then we need to add n element to the list. Lastly, we need to print the list. So these are the steps. So let's write the program. In the python file the first step is we need to ask the user to mention how many elements he want in the list so for that i'll use input function and i'll take a variable called n and here using input function i'll ask the user to mention enter how many elements you want this message will display on the output screen and here I'm using Python 3 and in Python 3 by default this input function will take input as the string value. Now if I enter I want 5 elements in the list. It will take that 5 as the string value and it will store that string value in the n. But we want the integer value right? 5 is an integer value. That's why we need to convert the input to int using int function. So let me take like this. Now the integer input will be entered and that will be stored in n. Now we know how many elements we want in the list. Next step is we need to enter that many element to list. For that first we need a list right. So let me create a list. I'll take list name as list1 and initially I'll take it as an empty list. Right now list is created and we know how many element we need to add to the list. Next I want to add the element to the list. Now to add the element we need to take the input from the user. So to take the input I am using input function. If I take element1 input function and uh, here I will take the input from the user. I won't print any message. And here if you want integer input you can convert the input function to int. If you want string no need to convert that to int. Now user will enter here input that will be stored in element 1. For example, he'll enter 10. Now I need to add that element 10 to list 1, right? So for that I'll use append method list 1 dot append element 1. Done. The first element is added, right? If the user enters n value as 5, then we need to do this 5 times. We need to take the input from the user and we need to append that to list 1, right? So whenever you want to execute a part of code again and again, then you need to use the loop there. So we have two loops, while loop and for loop. Here I'll use for loop because I know how many times I need to execute loop body. So first I'll cut this and here I'll use a loop for i in range n. Here i is a variable and I am using range function and I took range n. That means if I enter n as 5, range will be from 0 to 5 here. So I'll get i value as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, total 5 values. The loop body will execute n times. Next here what we need to do? We need to take input from the user and we need to append that to list 1. So now we are done with the input. Now let's print the list 1 and we'll see whether it is working properly or not. So let's execute this. So first it will display enter how many elements you want in list. I want 5 elements so I'll enter 5. So here we can see cursor is blinking so that means I want to enter the element now. Because here in this input function I didn't wrote any message that's why it is not printing any message. So if I enter here 10, 20 here we can see I'm entering the second element, third element fourth element and this is the fifth element. Now if I press enter it will print the list 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. All the elements are entered to the list. Now if you have confusion here in the input function I'll enter I'll write a message like element. Now 
if I save this and execute this first it will ask how many element you want I'll enter 3 so here we can see element so if I enter 10 if I press enter we are entering second element now so three elements are entered because I took the element count as three I want three elements in the list so here we can see we entered three element and in the list we can see those elements so now the question is how this program works now let me explain you how this program actually works first this statement will be executed n is equal to int input enter how many elements you want in the list if I enter 3 so n value becomes 3 next list 1 is empty so here list 1 is a empty list next for i in range so we took n as 3 so 0 to 3 so i can be here 0 1 and 2 initially i value will be 0 so it will execute loop body int input element so if I enter element as 10 initially element 1 becomes 10 next list 1 dot append element 1 so append that element entered input to list 1 so list 1 becomes 10 now again control go here and i value becomes 1 so next again it will take the input int input element so now if i enter element 1 as 20 so element 1 will become 20 next again it will append that to list 1 so list 1 becomes already it has 10 now it will become 10 and 20 now again control will go to the for loop now i value becomes 2 and it will execute this int input element so here will again enter another input 30 so element 1 becomes 30 now again it will append that value to list 1 so now list 1 becomes 10 20 and 30 now again control will go to the for loop but here range is over so it will come out of the loop and it will execute this print list one so it will print the list one okay so in this way this program works and here if you want you can write this in the single line also for that no need to take a variable instead of that here just append list one dot so I'm combining that two step I'll take list one dot append int input so whatever the input you will enter append that to list one you can write like this also right and also if you want uh, string input then you need to remove this int function and also if you want to make this program more understandable then uh, you can print few statements like before entering the elements to the list you can print a message here like enter the elements to the list like this and also while printing the list you can print a message like uh, list elements are so now if i execute this so first it will ask enter how many elements you want in list if i want four elements so next it will print this message enter the element to the list next here element 1 so 10 20 30 40 because I am taking all the integer input that's why I am entering the integer numbers here so list elements are 10 20 30 40 so you can use few print statement to make your program more understandable readable all right in this way you can take user input for the list so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care